Today on the podcast, we have the opportunity to speak with Dr. Josh Dowdy, the founder of Edwardsville's newest medical hormone therapy clinic, Elevate Hormone Therapy. We're going to learn about the genesis of this business and how it can help you. Stick around. Welcome to the CrossFit Edwardsville Community Podcast, where we hear and learn from our coaches, CrossFitters, and Glen Ed community leaders. Now, here are your hosts, Dallas and Greg. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the CrossFit Edwardsville Community Podcast. So glad to have you here. As you know, we'd love to have conversations with our CFE coaches, some of our CFE uh, athletes here within CrossFit Edwardsville, but occasionally we get to talk with some of our community leaders here in the Glen Ed community, and we get to do just that today. G. Skell, who is our very special guest today? A very special guest, Dr. Josh Dowdy. He's a local chiropractor. I've crossed paths with him a handful of times throughout the years. And he's the man starting the new hormone therapy clinic, Elevate Hormone Therapy here in Edwardsville. I want to welcome Josh Dowdy to the podcast. Welcome, Josh. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, glad, so, to, glad to have you here. For our audience who may or may not know, Elevate Hormone Therapy provides hormone replacement therapy, peptide therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin IV infusions, and more. And if you've been suffering from a lack of energy, decreased motivation, low libido, weight gain, poor sleep, decreased confidence, decreased workout quality, they may have a solution for you. But first, in this episode, we're going to learn about Elevate Hormone Therapy, the origin story, and where it's going. Dallas, take it away. Yeah, so so Dr. Josh, we're going to start kind of easy, and then we might dive a little deeper here. Uh, we always like to know a little bit. Tell us more. G gave us a, a quick overview there, but what is Elevate Hormone Therapy in your own words? Yeah, man, uh, Elevate to me is it's the place where people can come and really just uh, you know take their lives back. Um, hormone deficiencies are running rampant. I mean, it's not an issue that's going away anytime soon. Uh, there's been a, a drastic increase in the amount of people dealing with this issue. So it's a place for people to come, uh, get their lives back, get to live in a quality life again. Um, these, these issues are significant, man. They really impact people's lives. So it's a place for people to be heard. You know, they can come here, express these issues, um, know that they are in a place where they can get these issues addressed and addressed in a timely and efficient manner. So it really, it really is the place for hormone replacement in the Glenette area. And that's kind of a known thing. I mean, more, a lot of people talk about hormone replacement therapy and stuff like that. But for those in our audience who don't know, can you kind of break that down maybe on the men's side and the women's side just briefly for us? Yeah. So uh, we're going to primarily just kind of off the bat, we're going to stick with, uh, or we're going to, we're going to lead with men's hormone replacement. So you're looking at test testosterone replacement. We are going to branch into some peptide therapy. Um, there's a handful of different peptide therapies that we will be working with. Um, some are growth hormone peptides. Some are um, just peptides for healing. There's one called PPC 157 in particular that is just known to be the uh, a very, very effective healing peptide. So injuries, whatever it might be, um, it's really effective for that. Uh, women's side of things, we're still kind of working on launching. That's not quite ready to go just yet, but that's in the, in the, in the works. Nice. Uh, you hear that men, you hear that first, you got primary this time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds like your primary audience here are, are men that are struggling with these issues. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. So what, what, what's the differentiator between Elevate and maybe some other options that are in the Glen Ed area? What, what's the vision for differentiation for Dr. Josh Dowdy? Yeah, so really the, the issue here is that there's not a lot of options in the Glen Ed area. You know, there's plenty of other options over in St. Louis. You know, it's very popular over in St. Louis. Um, but this area just, it's, it seems to be we have everything else. Um, but it seems to be slow to the game for this side of things. And as, as big of an issue as this is right now, uh, it really surprises me. Um, I mean, I back years ago, I noticed a gap in the market. I said, I don't know why anybody's not or why nobody's not doing this right now. Um, I just wasn't in a place to do it years ago. But I did tell myself, I said, if it's not here in the next couple of years, um, then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be the one to do it. So 
I wanted to, to get this, I want to bring a place where, you know, we look at symptoms rather than just numbers as well. So we're not just treating, you know, the numbers. We want to hear that you are having these issues um, and then we can, you know, dive into more blood work, different things like that uh, to get it treated. So why is this subject, why is hormone replacement therapy, why did that become a passion of yours or how has that affected to you personally? What drew you to it, I guess? Yeah. So dealing with, you know, different levels of hormone deficiencies myself, I've just seen it in so many of my patients, um, just the quality of life that they've lost. Um, even my chiropractic patients, you know, before I even got into this realm of conversations I would have on a daily basis, with, you know, just, just feeling fatigued, feeling like, you know, they don't have the motivation. They don't have the desire to do the things that they used to do. And I'm thinking to myself, man, what a terrible Thing to experience you know your quality sure. of life is drastically changed from hormone deficiencies yeah. so you don't uh you don't want to play with your kids you don't want to you know do do yard work you don't want to do you don't want to try for things that you would normally try for because of something that can be fixed very fairly simply you know fairly fairly quickly too yeah i got it let's 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 go back in time. We're going to dive a little deeper because one of our favorite things to do on this podcast, Josh, is learn more about local entrepreneurs, like the men and women who bravely do what so few people do and bet on themselves, build their own businesses. So obviously this question goes back to before the hormone replacement therapy side of things, your, your chiropractic. Yeah. What attracted you to starting your own business in the first place? Yeah. So I think I actually wanted to start a business before I even knew what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of joked sometimes, uh, you know, Greg, you know, your background and everything. I actually thought that I wanted to go more into the physical therapy route at first, but uh, I was kind of between that and chiropractic. Um, I just knew the majority of chiropractors started their own businesses. So I was like, man, that sounds awesome. Like that's what I want to do. Um, my mom's been a, a business owner my, my entire life. So I got to see just the, uh, the increase in freedom that she had from owning her own business. Um, she, you know, she was there able to take care of us as kids and stuff like that. So the, really the freedom aspect of it is what ultimately attracted me to the own, to starting my own business. I like a challenge too. And I just, I just couldn't see myself doing a, you know, a nine to five and, and just being kind of stuck in the mundane, uh, everyday life. So I like the excitement. Was it, uh, so what were you doing before you got into chiropractic? You knew you always wanted to own that business, a business of sorts, but, um, what were you doing beforehand? And was, was, what was the fear factor? What was it scary when you took that leap and said, I'm going all in on my own business? Well, so when I decided that I want to start my own business, I was actually still in school. So I, I went from, uh, undergrad here at SIUE, um, graduated December of 2016 and then jumped straight into chiropractic school, January, 2017. So it wasn't really, uh, it wasn't really like I left anything that was safe. It was that I just said, Hey, we're, you know, we're going for it. We're going straight into, you know, into school. And then after school, you know, for the most part, chiropractors are limited to a, a few different options. One of those is starting your own business, but the other is just, you know, taking a, a job working for somebody else. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, those positions are, you know, they're, they're not well compensated. You know, we have a lot of student debt and you just you just won't you'll be paying on that the rest of your life. If you if you try to work for somebody on the salary that they typically get paid. So not that it's all about money, but I mean, it is uh, yeah, it, hel- it helps. It's motivating. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so sure. this is so chiropractic. I mean, this was your first business. You've just been a lifelong entrepreneur. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, I'd worked some side jobs in college, different things like that. Um, but yeah, man, so as far as like my actual working career, I, I know nothing besides owning my own business. I graduated, uh, chiropractic school in April of 2020, um, June of 2020, I saw my first patient for my first business. So, uh, I had about two months to, to get things up and going and waste wow. some more time. And, and what a better time to start something than in April of 2020. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not great timing, that's for sure. But <laughs> something yeah, around March 14th that, that you year. You can build a business anytime, man. Yeah. yeah. The best time to start a business is, is now. So, yep, I mean, absolutely. 
So what's the mission, the mission statement, the vision statement of Elevate? Yeah, so we, um, I mean, it, it's pretty simple. It's just, we want to provide these treatments um, that are really going to just help people feel better, look better, and I mean, ultimately live better. So you're, uh, you, you know, as cliche as it may sound, is you are actually a, a, a able, we are able to elevate their life. I mean, that's yeah. essentially where the name came from is we're, we're out to elevate the quality of life that people are experiencing. Yeah. We're, we're big fans here at CFE of look better, feel better, perform better. Mm -hmm. We we're all, everybody, everybody in the CFE community is all about that. So that's great. So when you, when you think Josh about your ideal client, the ideal person that's walking through that door, what we in marketing would call the avatar, Mm -hmm. Who does that person look like to you? Yeah, and it's it's very broad. I mean, you, you got you got people who you may not think would be, you know, that ideal avatar for hormone replacement. Um, and then that they, you know it may surprise you that might be exactly what they need. But really, anybody struggling with these symptoms that we've kind of touched on, you know, those low low energy levels, low motivation, um, weight gain, poor sleep quality, all of these things are. You know they're serious. They and yeah. and they make an impact on people's lives. So if somebody's looking to make a change, really, no matter where they're at, you know, we we'll we'll touch on a few different um, options as far as hormone replacement too. We will be you know very straightforward with people, and we want we want people that are just serious about making a change too. You know, somebody that's you know able to understand that hey, we are here to help you. We will get you moving in the right direction. Um, but we also really want people to take things into their own hands. There's a lot of things that you can do to um, kind of take control of your own health. You know, obviously exercise, nutrition is important, but there's a lot of things that um, can impact hormone levels outside of just replacement therapy. So we want to we want to take this service that we bring, um, but also allow people to kind of take control of their own lives and, and make those changes as well. Presumably, you're talking about stuff like lifestyle factors, sleep quality, sleep hygiene, doing their compound lifts in the gym, do your deadlifts, all those things help too. 100%, man, 100%. Those are all huge. So then the ultimate vision for Josh, like presumably like this becomes like the go-to place in Glen Ed. And then what, like, does Josh Dowdy end up like hiring others to help like expand the practice? Like, where does it go from here if all goes well? Yeah, so this is, the, this is the beautiful thing about this style of clinic and also like where I'm at from a, in a business standpoint is, you know, I'm, I'm just a chiropractor. Like this business is not going to revolve around me. I don't have to, you know, I will not be the one to prescribe medications. I will not be the one to give injections. I will not be the one to start, you know, vitamin IV. So all of these things have to be outsourced anyway. So this is a new part of business for me. Um, which is really just outsourcing and, and managing. So I get to bring in people who, you know, are, are specializing in that side of things um, to run the business. Now, you know, down the road, I would love to say, you know, I'm, I'm very, very excited to, to, to think this way, but I think it really will take off and do really well. Um, once we are, you know, maxed out here, feeling like we can really, you know, we've really helped the most people that we possibly can. Um, man, I want to start, I want to start getting some more locations. That's my big goal. Try to branch out, uh, take it, take it somewhere else, take it around, you know, eventually around the country. A lot of uh, clinics like mine, they will actually franchise. So that's sure. a very appealing, appealing thought of, uh, as well to just be able to have, you know, franchises all over the country. It sounds. Uh, I know the person who can help you with that when you're ready, Josh. So oh, that would be perfect. We'll, we'll definitely stay in contact over that. I know the franchise experts. Um, so, so what would you say as a franchise or as a business owner, pre-franchise or, um, what do you, what would you say are the biggest challenges or difficulties of running your business so far? So the, the biggest challenge has not even been running the business yet. It's been getting the business going. Mm. So this is a, this is a type of business, you know, this is, um, a business that requires you to definitely cross all your T's and dot all your I's, you know, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's not just a straightforward, uh, you know, it's not a chiropractic clinic, man. I mean, I, like I said, I started that in two months. Yeah. Um, I am on month probably eight or nine of trying to get this up and running. So yeah. there's just, 
the startup phase has been the de definitely been the, the hardest part. You know, there's no there's no straightforward guide um, to tell you how to start a clinic like this. So it involves a lot of you know time, effort, research. It's complicated. Like I said, highly regulated. We'll be dealing with controlled substances, so it should be uh, sure. you know, regulated and everything. But you know, there's still some gray areas with this realm of, of uh, this type of clinic. So trying to work through those, getting in contact with the right people. But yeah, overall, the the startup phase, man, has been the, the challenging part. But I think once we get up and going, I have uh, a, a lot of good interest in it so far. So I think once we get up and running, it'll it'll go pretty well, fairly quickly. And maybe that's maybe that's the great advantage to Dr. Dowdy is that there, is, there are considerable barriers to entry when it comes to getting into this field because you have to, like you said, dot all of your I's, cross all of your T's, you need to hire a team of professionals that can do all these things and keep it above board. And there's probably like medical licensing that's required for all of this as well. So like the harder it is to get into this, hopefully the more that once you've done it now you can it's blue ocean strategy you can just capitalize and take the whole market like i think back to when we started crossfit edwardsville here there weren't crossfit gyms in the st louis metro we so it was like we showed up in town and we just we took everything you yeah. know what i mean and that yeah. blue ocean is awfully it's an awesome 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 time to be a part of a business because like you can't lose mm. like literally you can make every mistake and still you still win as a business. Succeed, very succeed in spite of yourself. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yep. So what's most exciting for, for Josh about building this new business? Yeah, I mean, I'm most excited just for the, uh, you know, the amount of uh, the amount of lives that we're going to be able to change. Like I said, this is this is big yeah. stuff. I mean, I know I've hit on that multiple times, but I, it just really is the truth. This can this can really change people's lives. So uh, giving that quality of life back to people is exciting to me. Um, I'm actually really excited just about the amount of positive feedback that I've gotten and we aren't even open yet. I mean, the amount of interest in, uh, in the services and it's, it's just, it's really exciting for me. Uh, had a ton of people reach out just saying, Hey, you know, whenever you're operational, let me know I'm in, yeah. um, I'm on HRT right now through so-and-so um, just let me know. I'll switch over to you whenever you're, whenever you're up and going. So how, how many guys are saying to you, I'm, I'm using Viking labs cause there's nothing local. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a tricky one too, man. Sure. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. Just that overall support, um, around the clinic, man, is exciting. There's, I can tell there's been a need for something like this, or, you know, something big like this around here for a while. And, you know, I think people are starting to get excited about it too. That's cool. Uh, let's let's uh, pause on the elevate elevate hormone therapy. Let's talk to Doctor Josh himself. Let's learn mm -hmm. a little bit more about you, man. So the man, uh, the man right, the man behind. <laughs> uh, so give us the inside scoop. What's a day in the life of yours look like? Tell us about family, friends, relationships, anything going on in your world. Just let's hear about you personally a little bit. Yeah. So you know. Me personally, you know, at this point in my life, personal and business are just one. You know, there's a lot of I kind of I kind of. Gee, does that sound familiar? Yeah. yeah it here's, a, here's the thing. Like when you're in startup phase, your life is the business. You right. live it and breathe. Right. But I don't want to steal Josh's story. Josh, yeah, no, ahead. no, no. But we've all felt that, Josh. No. Yeah. It, yeah. You guys, you guys completely understand. So, you know, I mean, the the. I feel like uh, you've probably seen the, the scene it's in a lot of like movies and cartoons and stuff where it's just a montage of, you know, somebody waking up and going through the same like daily routine over and over again. Yeah. I feel like that every, like, every day I wake up, you know, <laughs> I got to try to get to my office about 7:30 AM. Um, I'll typically start seeing chiropractic patients about nine. So, I mean, I try to use that time. I really need to get here earlier, but mornings are hard. Uh, but I, I use that time to try to work on, you know, the elevate side of things, get things going um, and then, you know, see patients for chiropractic most of the day. You know, I'm big in the gym still. So I like to I like to go get my workout in. So I'll do that after um, after a day at the office. Um, uh, you know, I, I like my relaxation and with the, my time to wind down as well. So I'll I'll sit in the hot tub for a little bit. That's kind of my escape. But sure. Uh, yeah, man, then it's just. Go to bed and rinse and repeat. 
So uh, what's the, uh, well, it's Groundhog's Day again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That kind of feeling. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> We've all yep. felt that way. Just real quick for our audience, because, you know, our CrossFitter audience, we're a bunch of fitness nerds. What's Josh's workout split or what's what's uh, what's your workout plan look like? Clearly, you're a, you're a very fit guy. You got the, the a great physique. How, how'd you earn it? What do you, what do you do in the gym? Yeah, man, I've been uh, been on the bodybuilding split block bodybuilding routine for, I mean, my entire career. I you know competed uh, a handful of times back back in the day. So I've done about four bodybuilding shows um, now, man. It's really just I go in there and I try to I try to capitalize on the time that I do get to be in there. So, you know, whether that looks like two days a week, three days a week, uh, I did just start adding in a little bit of jujitsu again. So let's you know, go. Just, just <laughs> something, something different to spice it up and actually do some cardio for once, you know, where do you do jujitsu, Josh? Uh, so right now I'm down at, I just go to the open gyms down at uh head nod and granite. It's close that's to funny. my dude. That's where I train. Is, I was going to say, is that how you two yeah. know each other? You know each other no. for heading on? I, I, I want to I throw this out there. I might be wrong. I have a recollection that I was sitting in a, a Starbucks coffee shop many years ago, and this dude sits down by me, and he's reading something, like some sort of like personal development thing or something about this guy. I can tell that this dude is a go-getter. Like this dude is going to go someplace and do something great. I, I think it was Dr. Josh Dowdy. Grant, so I think this, this was before, like you were, you had a vision for your clinic. And if memory serves, like we talked briefly about what you wanted to do. And I'm like, dude, go conquer the world, man. Do big things. Do you remember this as well? Because this, this was many minutes ago, dude. I absolutely do. Yeah. Before you jumped on here, Dallas and I were talking about it a little bit. But yeah, I was actually in a, uh, I was doing my road, one of my rotations up here at a chiropractor's office right down the street. And, um, I hadn't seen you for a while. It had been year, you know, maybe in a couple, couple, two, three years, um, and then yeah, I ran into you there, man. And it was just like, it got me, it got me going. It got me thinking all over again. I remember you followed up with me, you know, through text, like, hey, what did you do? You know, the things that we talked about. How did you act on those? And I was like, man, that's just, that's just so cool that he, you know, followed up on, on me like that. And was like making sure that I went through with the things that I went, you know, taking action. Taking action, exactly. Yeah. yeah, which you know we both know. Uh, taking taking that action is is sometimes the hardest part. You know, I got yeah. stuck in that. I got stuck in that. Uh, you know that that phase of of I want to do this, but I just don't know how to do it. And uh, you know, for a long time, that kept me from doing it. So, yeah, man, that that was that was definitely me. I think I think a lot of people too can get. Uh, not just in the, I don't know what to do, but they can also then get stuck in the strategy phase. Yeah. yeah. And um, I remember one of my business coaches just saying to me, take imperfect action. Take, yes. if, yeah. if you're going to just do something yes. and, and, and tweak and figure out and fix. Any so, action is better than no action. Man. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so with that kind of concept in mind, we know your world is kind of your hobbies, your work, your world, your relationships, everything's kind of in the in the job right now. Let's talk about taking action because we know you've probably failed a couple of times. You've stumbled, you've faltered, you failed. So um, how has a parent, how has failure set you up for more success? Or uh, to ask it a, a different way we like to ask it is, do you have a favorite failure? Absolutely. Absolutely, man. That's actually, uh, that's probably my favorite question um, so far because that question is actually the reason that I'm where I'm at right now, because um, a lot of people don't know this and I don't commonly disclose it, but this is elevate is actually my third attempt of doing this hormone replacement clinic. So um, the first two obviously failed. Um, the first one, just briefly, I, I was going to partner uh, with a nurse practitioner. Um, things didn't go well. I kind of got defeated. And then I said, okay, well, that's not going to work. So that was failure number one, just in this realm of, of opening this clinic. So flash forward a little while, I had the opportunity to potentially franchise an existing clinic. Um, everything about it didn't feel right. So that ended up falling through. And finally, I just said to myself, well, you know, these other people are, you're not able to rely on these other people. The only thing stopping you from doing this is, you know, the how to's and your lack of 
belief in yourself is really ultimately what it was. Um, and I knew better than that. So I finally just said, you know what? I'm doing it on my own. I'm opening a clinic that is mine, only mine. You know, I don't care how long it takes, how much time it takes. I'm going to put in the work and I'm going to do this myself. So yeah, those two, man, those two failures for me were the reason that um, Elevate is, is here now. I love that. I love that. I, um, I was actually just reading this morning. Well, two things. Number one, it reminds me, <laughs> there's the old Winston Churchill quote of success is going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. I love that quote. But this love morning, I, I actually uh, took a note from an audio book. I had to pull over on the side of the road and type this note in because I loved it so much. But it said, um, do you have an unswerving commitment to success? And do you have an internal vision of success that's more real than every earthly failure? every earthly failed attempt, but it said your commitment has to accept the probability of hardship, sacrifice, failure, and it has to accept them in advance as the wages of a worthy outcome. Yep. I love that. Yeah, I was great. like, whoa, hardship, sacrifice, and failure as the wages of a worthy outcome. That kind of blew my mind. Yeah, that is, that is fantastic. Yeah. Well, we'll wrap it up with two uh, two questions for you, Josh. The first one, this helps us get to know some, maybe something interesting or different that maybe a lot of people don't know about Josh Dowdy. What, what's an unusual habit or an absurd thing that you love? Oh, man. My, uh, my, like we mentioned earlier, my habits, are, my habits are my habits, man. But I tell you what, one thing that I just cannot seem to go without, and it is part of my daily routine, and I already, I already mentioned it once, but man, I'm a I'm a hot tub guy. Like I, I absolutely love my hot tub. It is my time to like escape. And I know that's not that unusual, but as far as like a habit goes, you know, I make time for that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of those things that I will probably do that over going to the gym, you know, taking time watching TV for sure. I don't, I don't really care for TV or anything like that, but you know, that's my, that's my go-to. That's my escape. Love it. Love, love it. it. All right. And final question for you, Josh. If you have a, a gigantic billboard anywhere, it can have anything on it. You're in charge. Metaphorically speaking, this billboard is getting a message to millions, maybe billions of people. What would it say? This could be a few words, could be a paragraph, could be somebody else's quote, maybe a quote that you live by. What does Josh's billboard say? Man, I tell you what, I, uh, I, had, a, I had a quote and I had a, um, yeah, it was a quote. Um, and I remember I've, I've kind of had this quote in my life for a long time. I had a I had a little newspaper clipping of it um, on my mirror when I was in high school, you know, during wrestling and everything like that. So it's uh, it's actually Muhammad Ali's old quote uh, where, he where he says, uh, I'm going to paraphrase just a little bit, but he says, I hated every minute of training. But I said, don't quit. Suffer now. Live the rest of your life as a champion like that. Yeah. To me, that to me is just one of the most powerful quotes because as a business owner, you know, you know, the startup and the, and the grinding phase is a lot like a, just a, a hard training session. You know, it is, it is grueling. It can be brutal. It can be uncomfortable. Um, it's physical, it's mental. Yeah. But you know, you do it and you do it because you have that end goal in mind. You're, you're thinking about that end goal. You're thinking about the success and, you know, as he said, living your life as a champion, but, you know, I relate that to, you know, the success of owning a business. It's, it's, you're putting in the work now and, you know, you might not see, you probably won't see the return now, but you're doing it so that that comes, you know, the success that comes later down the road. And, and I think a lot of people get caught up in that. Hey, I need, I need that immediate gratification, that instant gratification. I need to, I need success now, but man, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work like that. So, you know, putting in that work, putting in that, that time suffering through for that end result. I love that. It's awesome. It's a, it's a unique kind of personality that is willing to forego safety and security and the traditional path to forge your own path and build your own thing that's going to stand on its own two legs. And like, this is why I love talking to entrepreneurs. It's very inspiring to hear from people about that, especially as you're going through like the startup phase, like, you know, people like me in Dallas want to help to encourage and lift up dr josh dowdy because like we've been there we've been in the startup phase you know what that's like and 
we want to pay it forward too. Like a lot of good people helped us in our early days, our early years as a business. Now we're well established. Hopefully I can help to pay it forward and help Dr. Josh Dowdy get the message out, get the word out, get the good word to the people. The people that need this service, people that need this help, need to know about you so they know where to go to get a solution to these problems. So yeah. if somebody wants to find out more about Elevate, how do they find out more about you, Josh? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I got, you know, we, we're doing the socials. We're doing uh, Instagram. Um, we're just at Elevate HRT. Um, Facebook, Elevate Hormone Therapy. Um, the clinic email is info at elevatehormonetherapy.com. But I mean, I am the type of person where I like to answer questions that people have. So, you know, through those platforms, there's nobody, you know, nobody else out on the other side of those those platforms. So it's all me. You know, I, I can I, I can answer any questions anybody has um, and would love, to be, you know, would absolutely love to answer any questions that anybody has about any of the services that uh, we're going to bring to this area. Love it. Awesome. So everybody, if you want to reach out again, uh, you can reach out via email info at elevate hormone therapy.com. Facebook, just find them as elevate hormone therapy. And uh, on Instagram, you can follow like at elevate dot HRT. Dr. Josh, uh, great meeting you, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Do you have a launch date? Like, do you know when the doors are officially grand opening? The chamber of commerce is coming with the big scissors and going to cut the ribbon. Ah, uh, man, that's a fantastic question. Uh, that's been the number one question that I've been getting asked. Sure. And I would absolutely love to say this is the hard start date. Um, right now, we are still waiting on some of those medical licenses to come through. Got it. So that's been the biggest holdup as of right now. Everything else is pretty much set, ready to go. You know, I mean, like I said, I've been working on it for months. So everything else is pretty much set, just waiting on uh, good old state of Illinois to come through and uh, get us those licenses. So. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, when we hear the announcement, we will be there with, uh, if they don't bring the scissors, I think G's got a set of big scissors. So, hey, man, bring the scissors. I mean, they they might only be, you know, handheld, but we'll still cut the ribbon. Hey, that's fine. We're going to do a big grand opening too um, over here at the parkway. I got a bunch of the businesses. We're going to already talk to them, some of the management. So, um, you know, we're going to do a big grand opening, everything, have a nice little, little party. So, it'll definitely be, the, the word will definitely get out. Awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say a great big thank you to Josh for joining us on the podcast. Thanks to my dude, Dallas, for carving yes. out some time to hang out with us today. Also, thank you to our audience for listening, and we hope to see you guys in the next episode. Have yourselves a championship day.